Hello, John Zimmerman from tabletclass.com. And what I want to do here in this video is just quickly go over the rules for positive and negative numbers. Uh, many of you out there um, may know, and maybe you've experienced yourself, um, your solutions, your math solutions, you know, becoming incorrect because you messed up on one of these um, integer rules, one of these rules that involve positive and negative numbers. It's just so easy to, easy to um, confuse some of these rules. But you absolutely have to learn these um, to really master, you know, middle school and um, high school mathematics. So let's just go through very quickly, and we'll start with the easy stuff first. I want to take a look at the multiplication rules. Okay, so here, anytime you're multiplying two numbers where the signs, the signs are the same. Okay, in other words, a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Okay, the answer is always positive. Okay, so two times, positive two times, positive eight, positive 16, okay? So once again, negative two times negative eight, the signs are the same, i.e. both negative, positive answer, positive 16. Now, a multiplication, when you're multiplying two numbers and where one of the, where the signs are opposite, i.e. one's positive and one's negative, here I have a positive times a negative, it doesn't make a difference, it could be a negative times a positive, the product, the answer, is going to be negative. Okay, so that's multiplication right there. And these are the multiplication rules. Now, division is the same thing. Okay, so multiplication and division, pretty straightforward. So 16 divided by 4, of course, would be a positive 4. Negative 16 divided by a negative 4 would be, okay, once again, signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. That's a positive 4. And now here I have a negative 16 divided by a positive 4, right? Um, opposite signs, so the answer, okay, is going to be negative, negative 4. All right, so this is the easy stuff. Now, let's get to the um, more challenging or what seems to give students, I think, a little bit more um, uh, problems understanding initially is addition. Now, I'm going to kind of uh, let me change colors here. I'm going to tell you, if you know how to add positive and negative numbers, then you'll be able to subtract. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right, so 8 plus 2, okay, two positives. The signs are the same, okay, so you keep the sign. Obviously, that's going to be a positive 10, right? All of us probably knew that. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? We have a negative 8 plus a negative 2. The signs are the same, so you're going to add these values right here. And you're going to keep the same sign. So this is going to be negative 10. All right, so right here, when you're adding numbers with the same sign, you can tell we're just adding, adding the numbers and keeping the sign. So no problem there. Here's where it gets a little interesting, I think, for students. Right here we have, um, we're adding two numbers with different signs. We have a negative 8 plus a 2. All right. So let me ask you. Which number here, don't look at the sign, just look at the positive version of the number. Which one is larger? Okay, the 8 or the 2? All right. Well, clearly this one would be larger. We call that the absolute value, but I don't want, I don't want to throw out too many technical terms here, okay? So between the 8 and the 2, well, we, we said the 8 is a larger number. Okay, we think of it as a larger number that's positive version. And you can, you can tell that here that the 8 has the negative sign. So here's what you do. Anytime you have two different signs, okay, you're going to end up subtracting. All right, so let's actually do that now. Okay, 8 and 2, if I took the difference, I'm going to get 6, right? And right, just kind of forget about that negative sign for a second. But now, the sign that is associated with the answer is going to have, or is going to be associated with that largest number, i.e. the 8. Okay, so this is going to be a negative 6. All right, does that make sense? Let's, let's try another one here. So we have 8 plus a negative 2. Okay, the signs are different. So when the signs are different, you're going to end up subtracting. Okay, so subtract just the whole version or the positive versions of these numbers. Okay, 8 and 2. So if I just told you to subtract them or find the difference, you would say, okay, that's 6. Now, out of the 8 and 2, which one has a larger sign? Okay, or which one is the larger number? The 8 is a larger number, and this 8 right here is a positive 8, so my answer is going to be a positive 6. Okay? All right, so once again, I'm just kind of quickly trying to refresh some of these rules. 
And of course, you know, in a few minutes, I won't expect you to master all of this stuff, but hopefully this is making sense to most of you out there. All right, so let's talk about subtraction. Okay, here's a deal with subtraction. I said if you know how to add, you can subtract positive and negative numbers. So what we're going to do with subtraction problems is turn them into addition problems by doing something called plus negative. So here I have 7 minus 10. What I want you to do is to take that subtraction sign, and you're going to turn it into an addition sign, and then you're going to put that little negative sign, you're going to tack it on to the number to the right of that, of that uh, addition symbol. Okay, so you see what I did there? I said 7. Instead of 7 minus 10, I'm going 7 plus negative 10. And then now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and do this addition problem. The signs are different, so I'm going to subtract the numbers. Okay, and then here, 10 is a larger number, and it has a negative sign, so I'm going to go ahead and make that a negative 3 for my answer. Okay, and by the way, too, um, what I'm trying to do is just give you kind of a procedural um, some rules here. I'm not trying to teach you all the concepts involved in integers, which are very important, by the way. Just trying to get you some simple rules so you don't mess this up when you're actually doing calculations. Okay, let's take a look at this last one here. We have 3 minus a minus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a positive, or excuse me, an addition problem, and then I'm going to tack a negative sign to the number to the right. But now I have a negative of a negative 6, or the opposite of a negative 6. Okay, so if I told you what's the opposite of negative 6, you would say, oh, that's positive 6. This really turns into this problem 3 plus a positive 6, or 3 plus 6, and that is 9. Okay, so pretty much a real fast review. Listen, um, if you need a lot more information on this and other topics, come on over to tabletclass.com. We have a 30-day free trial, tons of stuff. Uh, we have full courses. The whole idea with our products, it's clear and understandable. We, we really design our lessons uh, to be explained, and that's the key word, explain, not taught down to, but explained in a way that you'll understand. So hopefully you can come over and check us out at tabletclass.com, take one of our 30-day free trials, and learn and master this stuff so your headaches and mathematics go away. Good luck to yourself.